Hello and welcome to Stuart Schutzson's lab test of the Nasuni filer. This uh, device allows us to install uh, NAS services as a virtual machine and then uh, leverage the cloud for additional back-end storage. So we don't have to buy 60 terabytes of local storage. So what we're going to do today is walk you through the initial installation process. Uh, we've started over just so everybody could see it. Uh, it is incredibly uh, easy to do. So all we have to do to get started here first, as you can see on the screen, is download the filer from the application. I went ahead and logged in. Uh, we're, we are running uh, Fusion here in, the, in this part of the lab just to make things easier. Uh, so we're going to use the uh, BMFX PMX format. So we'll go ahead and download that. And it's going to take a few minutes to download, so we're going to pause for a little bit while that download happens, and we'll pick back up uh, when that uh, completes. Hello and welcome back. We are all set and ready to go. As you can see down here, uh, we've got the, the uh, package already downloaded and in place, and to get started, all I have to do is double-click on it. As I said, uh, for this test anyways, we're using VMware Fusion on the Mac. So we'll go ahead and double click and uh, get the system loaded up, put it on the right screen, and the system will begin to uh, install. You can see the progress bar going through here. Once it's installed, we'll do some configuration work on the, uh, on the web browser side things go well, we should be able to get configured and, and go on quite quickly. So uh, that quickly we're set up and ready with our, uh, with a wizard that is going to walk us through getting things uh, going here. In the lab, I'll set up a manual IP address just to keep things straight on our end. And I'm also checking to make sure we have the right network setting within Fusion, and we do, so that's uh, good. So if things went correctly, we should be able to uh, browse to it here. to log in. Accept the end user license agreement. Create a username and password uh, for the administrator of this. So we'll just go with admin. And 
then we'll select our cloud storage provider. Uh, for the purposes of this test, we'll go ahead and select Iron Mountain, who's also a, a client of Storage Switzerland, so I like to keep it in the family when we can. Plus, I like to make sure it's, we're using the best one we can get. So now it's creating the user for us. And we are completely set up and, uh, as the screen says, ready to go. So we will uh, pause for one second here and start up another Windows machine so we can uh, check it. Okay, and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, this is the home screen of the Nasuni filer. I, I think anytime I set up a new NAS, the first thing I want to do is copy something to it. So uh, I've got another server running Fusion here. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make the screen a little larger so everybody can see it. Uh, so I've got a Windows 2008 server here. I've already logged into the Nasuni filer. It just showed up in the, in the network browser, so very easy to do. Uh, We'll go ahead and copy over a, a presentation uh, to that folder. Uh, you can see that's pretty quick, uh, just a standard one gig uh, network here, nothing fancy. Um, so that's uh, about as quick as you need to be, and it's uh, about a meg file, so not too bad. Uh, just to make sure it all worked okay, we'll go over to a Linux uh, VM on that, on that same uh, secondary server, and we'll go ahead and log into uh, that system connect there's the as you can see there's the uh, share called files double click on that and there is the uh, document for us. Double click on that and open it up. Um, obviously, since this is a Linux box, we'll do it in Open Office. But that quickly, it's up and running. Uh, so, performance, at least uh, initially here, is very, very good. Uh, I don't know how you could describe an easier install than that. Um, all we got to do is double click and supply an IP address, and we're ready to go. The uh, rest of the configuration we'll uh, walk through in, uh, in our next uh, video. We'll talk about snapshots and begin to leverage the cloud and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but you can see that uh, really in a matter of minutes we were able to get the system up and running and uh, at least be able to copy data to it and read data from it. So again, my name is George Crump. Thank you very much for tuning in.